Alrighty, what is going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing, and of course, welcome back to another episode of LEGO Batman 100% Walkthrough, aka the Mini Kit Guide and the Red Power Brick Guide as well. So without further ado, let's get to rolling, and today we begin the brand anew, brand anew, I don't know why I said it like that, but uh, the brand new set of missions, and of course, that is the Power Craze Penguin, and we, we move on to... The first level, which is Rocking the Dock. So it looks like we're going into this one with three mini kits already unlocked. So it should be pretty gosh darn exciting. Now I have to forewarn you guys. Uh, I'm going off of memory. And uh, for this mini kit guide, uh, there might be a little bit of slowdowns. Because I don't necessarily remember everything pinpointed and accurate. But I will do my best to collect everything and point out everything that I remember. Alrighty, so let's see what the penguin has uh, to say. Bane, it's penguin here. The satellite dish we need for the penguin transmitter has just been delivered to the docks. With your fists and my brains, nothing can stop us. Tear down the city for all I care. Just get me the dish. And he's not talking about a meal either. Like a meal in terms of like food, you know what I mean? Okay, so here we goes. We are gonna need... Where is he? Come on. Oh, yeah, blow that up. Of course, you get a carrot. Here you go. That's that's your carrot right there, which is cool. Okay, so we're gonna make our way down here. Gonna smash and bash all of this. Whoops-a-daisy, look at that. I was already able to take down one of the police officers with a bullet to the face. There we go. Penguin, take them all down. All right, so the reason why you gotta smash all this is because you've assembled some parts there. You might not... Uh, believe me, but you have. Okay, so, um, I think I might be able to just double jump up here. Perfect. Boom, shakalaka. That's two out of three of those, uh, carrot things smashed. Take that out. And we need a strong character, such as Freeze. So I'm gonna push this. And by the way, uh, you might notice that we have, uh, times eight in the top right corner. That's a stud multiplier, so... Just pointing that out because I know some people will ask about it. Alrighty, so now we've assembled the blue Optimus Prime. Kind of, I guess there could be Ultra Magnus, right? Uh, Ultra Magnus is technically blue and uh, white. Which I guess would work better with this police car, wouldn't it? Alrighty, so we're going to deliver this truck over... Boom. Over to here. We're going to take a bit of a detour. We need to do some uh, work over here first. Uh, gonna use Batgirl right here with our Sonic suit. You could use either Batman or Batgirl, works just fine. Rescue the Citizen Pearl right over here. Uh, once you've done that, switch to a character that can double jump. Whoops. Come on. Double jump. Boom, shakalaka. There we go. Alrighty, so that's one of our mini kits acquired. Oh my goodness, these guys are being big jerks. Alright, freeze. You keep freezing them. I'm just gonna get this truck over to here, because we need it delivered over onto that area. I kind of failed there for a moment, didn't I? Let's hope I can do better as we continue. Okay, so we got one down. Now, next up, well, I guess I could have used clay, uh, clay face. I don't know why I stopped there first for the for the matter. Okay, so I'm going to hop up here, smash that. That gives us another mini kit because we smashed three of those carrot things. Okay, so now that we're done with that, come on, attack there. And we are going to head towards this area, grab the other truck, which is the police truck. Oh yeah, it's got some sirens going and stuff. Why have I never ever in my life seen an actual police truck like this? That's kind of weird, huh? We see it in so many different video games, but I've never seen one in real life. Like an actual truck that is a police truck? That's weird. Alrighty, there we go. Got ourselves another mini kit there. Of course, that should be, I think, what, four uh, or three mini kits that you should have. And uh, before you carry on, you're actually going to hop over here. I know it said six, but remember, we had three going into this, so just keep that in mind. You're going to hop over to here, and this is exactly where you're going to find one. So you see there, it's uh, we got a blue stud, but for you, it would typically be a mini kit there. So just keep that in mind. And yep, there we go. Purple stud. It's awesome, especially if you got a nice big multiplier. Uh, really, really is worth it. There we goes. So now we're just gonna get out of there. And hoppity hop. Some of those blue studs. Ah, there we go. I mean, purple studs. Booyah. That was awesome. We got half a million studs just off that little bit there. Alrighty. So, um, yeah, I think that's all. I think that is all in this area. 
You carry on to the next area, you're gonna smash and bash over here, which uh, will allow you to assemble this little kind of like a fan thingamajig, allowing you to get powered up. Up, up, to the top we go. Alright, we need someone with a gliding ability, such as Penguin. Smash past this. Need a strong character now. Come on, where are all the strong characters? Here comes Ivy, it's time for you to shine. Come on, Ivy. Time for you to shine indeed. I love this little uh, vine ladder, that is so cool. Okay, so once you've gotten up here, you're just gonna jump it across, jump it across, and grab yourself a mini kit, which is awesome. Now, let me just uh, check one thing. I don't remember. Was it here? Nope, okay, perfect. Just checking something. All right, get on up here. Oh yeah, uh, these cannons, if you smash five of them, you will get your uh, uh, your desired item of choice. Uh, goodness gracious, there's so much stuff going on, I can't decide what I should start with. Uh, but yeah, smash those cannons, uh, get that started. I don't remember if there were any cannons on the opposite side, so might as well go check it out. Uh, we already have that mini kit, so that's one of the ones that uh, I had pre uh, previously to beginning this level. Okay. Perfect, so I don't have to be dealing with these guys. I could just hop on over all of them, let them, uh, man bat take care of them. And we will head over here because we need to get our red power break. So we're going to seduce this guy with our poison. Here we go. He's going to get this door opened up for us. Come on. There you go. Thank you. Alrighty, so once you've entered this area, you're going to need the assistance of the penguin, from what I remember, over in this area. And you just load up a penguin into that little hole, and he will uh, guide uh, along the lines here. Bounce off of that, bounce off of that, and blow this up. Boom shakalaka, giving you your red power break, which is pretty gosh darn awesome. So then we can exit on out. We need a character that can walk on poison. There we go. That gets rid of the poison for your other buddy. Oh my, look at that. There is a swarm of enemies coming our way now. Ay, caramba. I'm just gonna swim past them as Killer Croc. Come on. Oh my goodness, really? Can Ivy? There we go. Ivy should be able to jumble, uh, jumble jump? No. <laughs> Double jump. That makes sense. Okay, so there we go. That is our third cannon, our fourth cannon. And of course, once we hit the fifth and final one right here, you would get a mini kit. So just keep that in mind. There you go. That blue stud right there would be a mini kit. So, uh,. That should bring your count pretty close to what we are at. Again, I'm just pointing it out to you. Uh, once you see them, you'll uh, get the, you'll get all ten at the end. Don't worry, you would still get all ten, the red power break, and the citizen in pearl by the time you're done this level. All right, so I'm gonna start pulling on these giant craters or crates, I should say. And once you've done that, head on to the next area. So once you are over here. You're gonna need to do some beating down on some fools. All right, come on, where's Ivy? There she is. Go ahead and seduce this fellow over here. It's probably the exact same one. He's like, oh, I just got fired from that other spot because <laughs> I got seduced. Now I'm gonna get fired again. All righty, so we head into here. Just kind of like this club place, I guess. And in here, we're actually gonna need the assistance of uh, our vacuum, Robin. Come on, Robin. Time for you to vacuum clean, buddy. Alright, I kind of like the fact that these guys aren't attacking me. For some reason, I remember them attacking me previously. Maybe not. Maybe I had imagined that. Alright. There's a big mess over here. There we go. Might as well smash all that. Come on. We have almost got enough. Gotta get only eight more bits. Eight more bits and pusses. Come on! Three more, please! There we go. Oh, right, look at that! Bullseye! Boom! Alrighty, so once you've got 25 bits, that's all you need. Of course, if you want to collect an additional 25, you can go ahead and do that uh, in order to get extra studs, so that's definitely worthwhile. Uh, but for us, we only need 25 for our mini kit. So there it goes! Assembling like a boss. Like a soul's boss. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Once it's fully finished off, this jukebox. I think that's how you pronounce that. I might have mispronounced that. I apologize. But you smash that and you get yourself another mini kit. 
Alrighty, so what the heck is wrong with that guy over there? Look at him, he's like, oh, I'm doing the Harlem Shake, do 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 Okay, that is why I don't sing, because I've got horrible musical awareness. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of those dudes. And... Let me see... Whoops, okay, come on, guys. Really? You guys are being jerks about this whole thing. So... Where was Joker? I just saw him a second ago. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. There he is. Alright, so I'm gonna electrocute this little thing. And that will power up those boats. The boats are now powered. And now we need to switch to Robin with his radio control. And now I think I feel like we should sing. I failed because it should have been first place. Dun 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 Bam! Okay, well, at least we're not last place, I guess. There we go! <laughs> what happened to that ship? Why did why did they both sink? Ah, oh, sucks to be them. Alrighty, so... Uh, we're gonna head this way for now. And we are gonna use this... ...to shint that on over. Now, on that railway, you see that blue stud up there? That is actually a mini kit, uh, which you can grab via this process, I believe. Whoops. There. Oh, come on. You almost did it there. Come on, Ivy. Ivy! Thank you. Alrighty. So, this is another mini kit, which at this point you should be at 9 out of 10, leaving you with only one more to go. And the final mini kit can actually be acquired via diving on down. You see it right there underneath the leaves? You jump on down, and there you go. There's your 10th and final mini kit. And there you go. You've got your red power brick, you got the mini kit, you've got everything that you needed to acquire. So now you could go ahead into Arkham Asylum, press save and exit, and head on back. So there we go. Thank God I was able to remember all the mini kits. I thought I forgot some of them or didn't quite remember them as surely as I did. But luckily, there we have it. We unlocked the stud magnet, which is another very, very useful uh, thing in this game. And uh, honestly, overall, uh, the villain missions really give you the best red power brick. So I would recommend if you kind of are thinking which missions to start with, I would probably say do the villains missions first because you would get your stud multipliers. You would get a lot of the things that are uh, a lot more uh, influential and are meaningful towards the success in the game. And we got rewarded with a little penguin submarine, which is pretty gosh darn cool. There it is, looking pretty awesome. Of course, we also get rewarded with a ton of studs for all our hard work there. So that's really, really nice there as well. And there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You found it informative and entertaining, uh, or either one of those. Uh, would be highly, highly appreciated if you liked the video. Of course, if you did, Hit the like button right below the video. That really does help me out a ton, guys. Of course, make sure to also share the video with your family and friends and favorite the video. All of those things are highly, highly appreciated and uh, they definitely do show support. So next time, we continue the Power Craze Penguin mission. So tune in to see how that will unfold. And of course, on top of that, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button to not miss out on all the great content that goes up on the Blitzwinger channel on a daily basis. Alrighty, guys. Hope you guys had a fan for the day and I'll see you later.